Hello, and welcome back to our mini series on D365 marketing. Today, we are going to be focusing on segments. So, with that, let's jump right in. So, I'm in the segmented, I'm in the segments area inside of D365 marketing. I want to pause just for a second and just talk about something. So, segments inside of Mar D365 marketing are your lists that you are going to be marketing to. So they could be list of contacts, list of um, leads that you are, you know, that you are marketing to. But what I want to differentiate is that if you know anything about D365 sales and marketing lists, they just didn't take the marketing list and rebrand them as segments inside of marketing. They actually got rid of marketing lists altogether in D365 marketing and started fresh with segments. And the reason why they did that is that, as you're going to see in a little bit, that segments are much more robust than uh, marketing lists. And so they completely got rid of the concept of marketing lists and went with segments instead. So with that being said, um, there's some things that are similar between the two, so I just want to let you know that they are completely separate um, areas inside of the tool. So you can still use marketing lists on the sales side, but marketing lists are not available inside of um, the D365 marketing area. So you can have a dynamic segment and a static segment. So pretty much what that just means is that dynamic, you give it a filter, any, any records that meet that criteria will automatically get added to the dynamic segment. Or you have a static segment. You just say, here's the list of contacts or a list of leads that I want to market to. It holds that list, and then you either have to manually go and add it or remove it. Otherwise, it's just it's a static. It just stays the same unless you physically go in and make the changes to that. With that being said, let's jump into an existing segment that I have. Oh, one last thing before. Um, notice that you'll see the member count next to them. So if they're active, um, what status they're in, and then how many members are part of them. So now notice this is a demo environment, so I don't have many you know, records in here, but you'll be probably in the hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands, depending on how many you're marketing to. So you can see all that. And of course, you can have multiple different segments. Let's take a look at one. So... Right now, I started with one already to just kind of show you the power and how you can go through here. So we're starting with the contact, and I'm just saying I want the email that has da has data in it. So I'm just going to say email contains data. Then I'm going and I'm linking it to the an opportunity, and I want the opportunity where the estimated revenue is greater than 30000 And then I'm going to link to an opportunity product where we're looking at a um, we're looking at a product, but then I say product name contains the word service so that we're looking for a service inside the product catalog. And I can keep adding more and more and more. And the nice thing is, is that this tool knows what the relationship is. So if I'm on the opportunity product and I want to add something related to that, I can say either I can add a condition to this. Otherwise, I can add a related entity. Um, so when I go to the related entity, now it gives me this drop down and I can add related entities back. So if I want to go to the actual product entity and, you know, do some filtering, I can do that. So I can keep going more and more and more as long as you have an entity or data that can somehow link back to either a contact or a lead. You are able to filter it inside of a segment and be able to, you know, build that list and be able to market to it. So this is a really powerful tool. So this will work with any out of the box entities or any custom entities or any virtual entities that you have inside of your environment. Now, as we're going through here, there's different types of blocks you can create. So what we just did was a query, bro query block. So this query block, this you know gives you the ability to filter on any type of data you have in your serum entities right now. Now, um, one thing that I will explain, because I didn't explain this at the beginning, is that when you turn on D365 marketing, it sits on top of your D365 sales or D365 customer service or D365 field service environment, and all of your accounts, all of your contacts, all of your activities are 
automatically in it. So if I clicked on accounts or contacts over here, these would be the exact same accounts and contacts that you would see in your D365 sales or D365 environment. So that is the power. There is no connector. There is no integration. As soon as you turn it on, you are accessing the data so you can filter on any of the data that you have. And that's what you do inside this query block. The behavior block is another type of block, but this is more marketing specific. So now, you know, this is the type of people that I'm looking for. Well, what are they doing? Or how are they interacting with me? Or how are they not interacting with me? So now I can go into here and I can say, hey, did they click an email? Did they, you know, was an email delivered to them? Was, were they bounced? Did they have an email sent to them? You know, did they do an event? Did they check in? Did they register for an event? Have they filled in a form? Have they filled in a form on LinkedIn? Have they, um, you know, have they visited our website? Did they click on something in our website? All the different types of areas that we measure and manage and maintain from a marketing standpoint that all now can be come into here and we can filter it based on this behavior block. So what they have done or what they haven't done or, you know, that will now allow us to even better filter and grab who we want from our segmentation, from our segments. The segment block allows me to grab another segment that I already created. So let's say if I have some logic that I created before that I want to add to this one as kind of a starting block, or maybe I want to add some additional filters and I had to rebuild all the logic, I can add another segment block from other segments I have created. And notice that, you know, through here I have and and or and also but not. So, you know, I can go into here. The but not is a nice one that says that, you know what, I want these people, but they haven't done this. So I want everyone that has a valid email address, but we haven't sent an email to yet. You know, so those are different things that we can build inside the segments. So it is a really powerful tool. Now, how do you use the segments? That will be on a further, that'll be on a, dish, on a different video when we talk about the customer journeys. But I wanted to show you what a segment is because it's really powerful. And if you think a marketing list, it's completely different than a marketing list. And hopefully you can see that through this demonstration. So with that, I want to thank you. And please um, come back and look at the other areas that we are still demoing inside of Dynamics Marketing. Thank you.